An electron is accelerated by a voltage of 2500 volts between plates A and B. So we're assuming plate B is positive and plate A is negative because it's gaining voltage as it goes from A to B. So the electron, which is a negative charge, is really, really close to this negative plate. So it wants to be repelled from that plate and attracted towards the positive plate. So at the beginning, the electron definitely is starting with some sort of electric potential energy. So it starts with electric potential energy. And by the time it speeds up across that gap and reaches the other side, its final electric potential energy goes to zero. It's like uh, dropping a ball. When it hits the ground, the ball's potential energy is said to be zero. So when we want to know the change in energy, we're using the formula voltage Change in voltage is change in potential energy per unit charge. <clears throat> so really this question shouldn't say what is the change in energy because we know energy is conserved. It should, should say what is the change in potential energy. So to calculate it, we go change in potential energy is change in voltage times Q. Our change in voltage is 2500. And Q is the charge of an electron, which is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And when we put all that together, we get negative 4.0 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. So our change in energy is negative, which means that electron has lost potential energy as it falls across that gap. Now in part B, what is the electron's speed when it reaches the other plate? Well, in part B, we're looking at conservation of energy. We know that its original potential energy, that's all it has, all gets converted or transformed into kinetic as it crosses that gap. Now, its original potential energy is calculated. 4.0 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. And its final kinetic energy will just be 1 half mv squared. Now notice I dropped the negative sign. You got to remember that change in potential energy is EP final minus EP initial. And when I solve this for, assuming EP final is zero, when I solve this for EP initial, you end up losing the negative sign. So putting in my mass for the electron, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms and solving this expression for velocity gives us a speed of 3 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. Now remember, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8, and you can't go faster than that. So if you ever get an answer bigger than 3 times 10 to the 8, you've likely done something wrong or forgotten to take a square root or something to that effect.